it's like lately i've been liking to record videos at nine o'clock also i prefer my camera higher up because i feel like i can look at myself um happy new year's everybody 2020 is here and i'm just gonna do my nighttime skincare routine uh chit chat a little bit I, i'm doing i'm currently doing a juice cleanse even though i took a little bite out of a donut don't do that um i'm on the fifth bottle this is the blueprint organic i really like this company i do pee a lot um i like that it's 35 dollars it's it's weird because i don't juice cleanse that office office that often but i think if you want to juice cleanse um and you don't want to buy a juicer obviously it's cheaper to buy your fruits but everything's organic it's good uh the two hardest ones which is the ro romance the romaine the kale the parsley and all that i always feel like that's the hardest one to to guzzle but this morning when i went to whole foods and i grabbed that out of the box as soon as i paid for it it felt so good to have greens in my body and that is a huge signifier from halloween all the way up to basically two days ago i've been eating whatever i want and i just want to go into 2020 not doing none of that bullshit because i'm such a princess <laughs> so new year's was chill i went to a like dinner house party in the west village with my roommate and um we got home like around three we ate we went to sleep yeah like around 4 35 i don't know i ate like leftovers and it took literally all day i mean all day for me to get it together and jameson i've been wanting to drink whiskey lately um and that was it i drank jameson the entire night and i had it ginger ale um those like diet free sugar free um ginger ales always give me a headache though i had a headache for most of the day and i tried to eat pasta first of all do not eat dairy when you're hungover how about that i'm excited for new beginnings i have been struggling in some department um just like i feel like this period has made me feel kind of numb to things i have closed a lot of chapters with certain people in certain situations in which we were no longer serving me i don't think i was no longer serving them and i was just i i felt like i was just unhappy and i feel like as, as women especially being in my 30s and like thinking about how i want to spend like the next five i think a lot about the future and how important it is for me to like make decisions so i make future me happy as opposed to like thinking about right now right here in this moment because instant gratification can be satisfied in different ways but I want to know that in like 10 years, I'll be happy with like the, these decisions and I'm not stuck in like a long cycle with like people, places and things that no longer just at the very, at the very least make me happy. And so um, it's been hard because like I still think about too much. <laughs> I think about too much and I think about how much I like value myself as i'm getting older as i grow into the woman that i i, I just want to be proud of myself in the future i think that's the biggest thing i don't want to look back and be like damn bitch i wish you would have done it differently and i think where i get stuck is wondering if i am um not giving things a chance so i can enjoy life or if this is a bad decision but i think my intuition never steers me wrong because then later on i end up getting proof that i made the best decision and the waiting game is always the hardest. You should do your best to take everything off um, in the shower between makeup wipes and stuff. But I like that this toner just gets everything right. Um, I use this on dark spots that are on my hands from like falling and stuff that have left really dark marks. And I've seen um, such a huge difference. I will say that things that have glycolic and lactic acid for me... Um, my biggest like little beefing tin if you've been watching my channel for a while then you know that's that's my word for when i don't like something my biggest beefing tin or my uh, maybe a, it's a small you guys can decide is that these kind of things lighten my um lighten my skin and I have had um, issues with like finding foundations because of that. Like my, I have never found a foundation that actually matches the rest of my body. I was just I'm um, doing my knuckles, and because of that, I feel like I've always had to mix or really rely on powders and concealers to balance everything out. Um, and the Glow 2O does 
kind of lighten the skin just a tad. I think lactic and, and glycolic are just enough to get. Um, Next thing I do, um, I know most people probably wouldn't recommend this, but I love Tatcha so much. I like to use their vitamin C brightening serum. This definitely has helped my dark spots. It's super liquidy. It's like water. Um, dissolvable the song but i love this stuff this is literally my favorite thing um i love putting this especially in my chin area because that's where i get dark spots and i think this has been helping a lot as well with the dark spots but i don't use this every day i don't use this every day because i want to make this last but also tatcha is really strong um and this is 20 percent um vitamin c and i don't think it's necessary every day that's just my thing and then I like to wait like a minute or two before adding the Lex, the Lex, the next layer. I love layering skin products, especially in the uh, in the winter time. And I've noticed that I haven't had any dryness, and I think it's because of this. This is the Bocha Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel. If I haven't named anything, it will be listed in the prescription 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 subscription bar, where you can click more. Um, this has definitely helped with. It. A ton of things. Number one is hydration. Second is going to be um, with breakouts. I haven't really been breaking out that much. I have been toning it down and just like breakouts, you know, no matter what skincare product you use, at the very height of everything is the diet and how you deal with stress. And I feel like those things have an effect on my life. Take a tiny bit of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Cream and I just dab and damp. I don't need a lot and if I have extra, I always hit the laugh line. I read a long time ago that that helps. I don't know if it's been working for me. I'm lucky enough to have vibrant skin that still looks youthful and I will never take advantage of that. So I will drink my water, mind my business and do my skincare routine every single night. All right, so I finished that last bottle. <clears throat> I just want to talk a little bit before I talk about my moisturizer because that's literally the last step. Um, I have found that when I do this technique, which is just waiting for each layer to go through my skin, um, my skin just feels better and it looks better and it works better when I do makeup. I'm not going out today. I'm going to go to sleep soon. Um, but if I have a little extra time to spend it to myself, it is probably my favorite thing to do. I do notice a difference when I just put moisturizer on and call it a day. It just it just makes my skin look a little bit more plump and it just gives every every step a chance to adhere nicely to my skin. And I've really, really enjoyed um, the look of my skin. And I'm very happy with it since doing so. Moisturizer I've been using at night is the Secret Sauce from It Cosmetics. Um, I really like this. It is very rich, which is my favorite, but I still add a little bit of oil. Right now, I'm currently using the Ordinary's 100% Plant Derived Squalene. Um, I won this in a contest, and I literally put one drop because she is no joke. And I take a little bit. I don't really need a lot of moisturizer. One, because there is oil in it, and I feel like it ends up spreading. Um, so, I love massaging it into my skin. Give myself a little, like massage so that I can get the blood pumping in the skin, make sure the collagen is still doing its magic. Um, and then my hands still feel like there's still product in there and I've always feel like you can tell, you can tell when someone does a moisturize their neck. And moisturizer, facial moisturizer should be spread all the way down. All the way down. And I love massaging my skin. Get that shit plumpy. I always wanted one of those jade rollers, but um, I didn't know where to get like an authentic one, but not also spend like a hundred dollars. Um, and if I still have some product left, I always hit my hands, my cuticles, because really use some of the squalene. And then that, you guys, is my nighttime skin routine. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I will see you guys next time. Um, sign off in the comment what your 2020 New Year's goal is. And uh, I love you guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, talk your shit. Whatever you gotta do, stay tuned.